$22,293,360 over three years. That's $7,431,120 a year. $619,260 a month. That's like getting $309,630 a paycheck. Can you imagine the things in this life you could buy with that kind of money? With one paycheck, you could buy an average American house or a Lamborghini Hurricane and not even blink an eye. This is the type of money Maverick superstar Luka Doncic was guaranteed on his rookie contract. And Real Madrid. Man, it been... It's simple. Play for the Mavs for three years and get $22,293,360. Now, it's not quite Patrick Mahomes' $503 million 10-year contract, but... Oh, yeah, and, uh, and, uh, I was kind of just walking down the street and no one was even noticing. Was that pretty, disguised pretty you with the Cowboy. Yeah. Now with it could be in the future. Guess what? I'm signing Luca for life. He's a professional. He won at the professional level overseas. Once he's a free agent, I'd be willing to bet the Mavs leadership gives him an offer he can't refuse. Oh! How did he do it? So what does Luca do with his money? Oh! Home sweet home. With his free agency coming up, all 30 teams will be trying to get Luca on their team, causing Dallas fans to lose their mind, hoping that he doesn't leave. Well, Dallas fans, rest easy. I think he might be staying a little bit longer. On October the 31st, Candy's Dirt announced that one of their certified sweet homes had just been purchased by none other than Luka Doncic, meaning he might have future plans to stay in Dallas. According to the real estate website CandiesDirt.com, the 21-year-old All-Star just recently bought a $2.7 million pad situated in the old Preston Hollow neighborhood near Bluffview, one of the most luxurious residential areas in the heart of Dallas. The 5,225 square foot home was built in 1984 and is situated a few blocks away from Dallas Mavericks owner and Shark Tank billionaire Mark Cuban's house. The customer's always right, Mark. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> Other notable neighbors include Mary Ash Kay, founder of cosmetic company Mary Kay. You know, we all have the same 24 hours a day. Former President George W. Bush. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once and billionaire T. Boone Pickens. Uh, I thank the Lord uh, for being there for another day. Imagine those neighborhood barbecues. Luca's new crib consists of four bedrooms, six bathrooms with oversized walls of glass, a wide greeny backyard, and a gorgeous swimming pool. The two-story modern living space boasts state-of-the-art technology as well as many cool features like an outdoor entertainment space that has a drop-down projector, a pavilion with grill, and inbuilt heaters. Not bad, eh, for a 21-year-old guy from Slovenia. This is the only house he owns that we know of. Since he's a private guy, I'm willing to bet he has a house or two somewhere in Europe as well that he's not telling anyone about other than his family. Shoot around today. <laughs> Vehicles. What are you doing? Yo. <laughs> if you're in the NBA and you're not Kawhi Leonard who drives a 1997 Chevy Tahoe. What it do, baby? Yeah, you already know. Then you drive nice cars. Anything from BMWs and Porsches to Lamborghinis and G-Wagons. Prior to his transition to the NBA, Luca had already made a name for himself overseas playing for the Spanish ball club Real Madrid. He was thrust into the limelight at an extremely young age. Of course, got boatloads of cash and several other perks. As a 17-year-old kid who has unlimited potential and deep bottomless pockets, Luca did what any 17-year-old with crazy talent that has an absurd amount of money at his disposal would have done. Buy nice cars. <laughs> and I'm talking the ultra expensive ones. Especially Porsches, as he said those are his dream cars since he was young and that they're the most beautiful cars in the world. Luca drives an electric blue Porsche Panamera with custom rims which probably cost somewhere around eighty dollars to $155,000 back in 2017. He's also got a red Porsche 911 Turbo with black rims and a custom exhaust and has been rumored to have bought a black Panamera. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that he loves Porsche. <laughs> His reaction. Mood. <laughs> Not a yawn. Recently, he's diversified his car collection by purchasing a red Audi A7 that costs somewhere around $70,000. 
He also hopes to own a McLaren and a Lamborghini someday, but despite having these four-wheeled luxury vehicles, it's quite funny to think that his mom had to pick him up from practice since Lucas still wasn't old enough to legally drive around at that time. Still, based on his automobile preference, we now know that European supercars are Luca's weapon of choice. What car should Luca get next? Drop your comments down below. Fly high in style. After the NBA had to shut down because of the COVID-19 global pandemic, lots of foreign NBA players decided that the best thing to do was go home before a nationwide lockdown was imposed. Rules about mask wearing, testing, quarantining, and teams who break the rules intentionally or not. But due to travel restrictions and strict implementation of travel protocols, mass transport was suspended as well as commercial flights. With Luca left with no other resource, he was able to secure a seat and flew all the way down to his hometown of Ljubljana back in Slovenia using a private jet. Now we all know how expensive it is to charter a private plane back and forth and this just goes to show that Luke is slowly gaining the respect and privileges that his elite and powerful basketball peers enjoy. Look up! We're twins! We're twins! Doncic, a fan is heckling him and he looks to see who it is and it's Kobe Bryant. 21 year old things. Outside of the nice cars, traveling and a new crib, Lucas spends his money like any other 21 year old with money would spend it. During the NBA suspension this year, Luca tweeted a GIF about how his isolation was going. The GIF featured a tired Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents gaming until he couldn't game anymore. Luca has been known to play video games and we assume he doesn't hold back on his gaming rig. With an estimated net worth of $5 million, Luca's wealth will just immensely grow in the future when he signs a new contract with the Mavs and after securing a sneaker deal with the Jordan brand back in December 2019. These are just some of the ways how Lucas splurges his wealth. If you had $5 million in your bank account right now, how would you spend it? Let me hear your answers by dropping your comments below. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hoop Nation. If you liked it, please subscribe and let us know what other topics you'd like us to cover. It's it on the inbound and launches the three to beat the shot clock. Wow. Smith slipped. He found Luca. Luca, late clock.